Well, hello, friends. It is so good again to see you this week. Thank you so much for joining me, Pastor Zach, for this week's children's sermon. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you are staying warm and being able to be outside some too, maybe even jump in some leaves as the season continues to change, as the colors on the trees change and some of the leaves falling, an indication that winter is coming. But friends, I'm so grateful you've taken time out of your day to be with me and to hear what God has in store for us. As always, I want you to find that comfortable spot in your house or outside, whatever works for you. And when you get there, let's take that deep breath in and deep breath out together. Ready? One, two, three, in. And out. A reminder that God fills us with the breath of life and that as we have that breath, we can continue to love God and love each other. So I have a question for you. I'm sure you're not surprised by that. What does it mean to be prepared? What does it mean to be prepared? Maybe before we answer that, let's talk about if you were going to school, what would you need? That's right, you would need your backpack, maybe your folders, your homework, your pencil case. You might need a lunchbox or money to at least buy food. You would need to make sure you're dressed and you have shoes on. What else? Yeah, that's right. Now, what if it were raining outside? What would you need? That's right, a rain jacket, or you would need um, an umbrella, maybe. I know when I was a Boy Scout, if it rained, we had to put a uh, we had to put a little poncho or something over top of our backpack so it didn't get wet. Right? In different situations, you have to bring certain things. And we would say that's prepared, right? Gathering all the necessary things, having everything that you might need. Because are you prepared if prepared for school if you forget your homework? Are you prepared for school if you don't have shoes on? Are you prepared for school if you don't bring a pencil? That's right. You're not. You can't do what you plan on doing because you can't write down stuff you can't turn in your homework you can't play outside if you don't have shoes on and if it's raining right if you don't have an umbrella if you don't have a rain jacket you'll get what that's right you're gonna get wet so we have to prepare we have to be ready for certain things or we might not be able to participate as fully as we would like I talk about being prepared because this week Jesus is telling us a parable about 10 people and half of them, five of them were prepared and five of them weren't. And there's some stuff that goes on, but in the end, Jesus says this. Jesus says, truly I tell you, I do not know you in the sense of not knowing um, what's going to happen. But he says, keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. What the 10 people, what the five brought and the five didn't, the five brought extra oil in their lamps to light up the room. And the other five didn't, so they kept falling asleep. They weren't prepared for what was going to happen for, for, the, for the party to start or for the king to come. They were going to miss out. So Jesus here says that we need to be prepared. And when he talks about preparation for us, it's talking about when he comes back to earth, when he comes back to save us and to bring us all together with God. And Jesus says, you don't know the day or the hour. And that's right, we don't know, right? That's why we live every day to the best of our ability. Every day is a gift. So what do we do during that day? 
What do you think being prepared during the day means? I think that's right. I think it means love. It means sharing. It means having hope and peace that what is going on in the world, which can sometimes be scary and sad, when it's when Jesus talks about it, it means that that's not the final answer. That Jesus is that final answer. Jesus, because of his death and resurrection, because he's died for us to give us new life in him. Jesus is changing the game. We're prepared by loving. We're being prepared to love. Loving not only ourselves and loving God, but Loving our neighbors, coming to the aid and support and care for our neighbors. And sometimes that means when they're not prepared, we can help them be prepared. If people are not necessarily ready for the winter, maybe we can give them a blanket or we can give them a jacket. We can give them a tent if people can't stay out of the weather. See, we can help other people be prepared by loving each other. Now, when Jesus says keep awake, I don't think he's saying that we have to stay up 24-7 because we even know Jesus took naps and Jesus slept. And it's important for us to sleep so we can be ready. When Jesus says keep awake, it means that we are to be prepared at all times, even in our sleeping to be able to share love, to, to come to the aid of our neighbor, to be ready for Jesus to return in all his glory. Because at that day and at that time, all will be well. We will be one and Jesus will be Lord forever, just like he is right now. And we will know it just a little bit more fully than we do at this point. So, I friends, I just encourage you to think about what it means to be prepared. To be prepared to love. When we come to worship, we prepare to sing and pray and hear God's word, to come to the Lord's table. We come to Sunday school to prepare our brains to learn, to be creative and to be in community. We prepare ourselves so that we can receive fully what we've been given. And that is love. We can receive love so that we can give love. So friends, I thank you for joining me. And always know, you are loved and you are enough. That is the message to keep awake for. That's the message to share at all times because when we know that, we can be transformed. We can do God's will. We can, by the power of the Holy Spirit, share Jesus' love because Jesus loves us. And nothing can separate us from Jesus' love, for which I give so much thanks. Friends, let us pray. Hey, God, we love you. We ask that you continue to prepare us to receive love and to give love. We thank you for all the ways that you show up in our lives. We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Friends, it was so good seeing you. Please take care. I look forward to seeing you Sunday and be well. God bless. Bye-bye.